guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final two episodes of a really the series finale for now of The Dangers in My Heart. I, I'm not ready to do this. Truly. I, I'm just hoping that by the end of this that, you know, these two confess and they end this show with them becoming a couple. That's all I want. That's all. Okay? Okay. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, nice. It's a school trip. You can't go? Or is that the day... Oh. Or wait, was that the day of, like, the situation that happened during Golden Week? Contacts, hello!
You could just ask her. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute though oh my god no! <laughs> that does make me want to ask though so to my guy followers because i know i have more guy followers than girl followers you know ever since i started youtube and shit are you cool with girls initially like setting the boundaries and going first in the case or are you wanting to be the one to be the leading one and dominant let me know oh <laughs> You, you sure you don't have filming or anything on that day? Oh my god. I I cannot imagine her if she lived here in Florida and there was a freaking hurricane. Because I mean like well no, typically here in Florida, me <laughs> when you get all your freaking hurricane snacks and you, you eat them and then you know just in case <laughs> you don't really have hurricane snacks, don't do that. Save your hurricane snacks. Have extra snacks on your snacks. <laughs> yeah, flirty couple. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Huh? Why? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh.
It is. But they're cute. You can get it, baby! Baby! Oh my god! It's so cute! Look at Look at Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Oh my god! Oh She's not like your typical girl, so. Oh. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I do feel bad for girls who do have small sizes. I, I get it. I mean, it's, I, I thank God I'm not really a part of that community, but at the same time, like, yeah, having big boobs, <sighs> they're good, but then they also can be a major pain. It's a blessing and a curse. A real curse. Of course, 
Duh. Your, the shows you're a part of. Oh my god, not the dick battle. <laughs> the oh my god, the confetti, the confetti, the confetti. You did good, my bro. She's gotta leave. Oh my god, boys, boys, we're not having a Romeo and Juliet type moment. Jesus Christ, just go to bed. You'll see her in the morning. Oh my god. <laughs> it's something else. It's the audition. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She was crying. We got an emergency.
no. Okay, no kiss, but a big butt, but potentially a big, 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 big potential. We're getting the I love yous or I like you and I want to be with you and I want to date you and everything in this next episode. Okay, seeing them on this trip was really sweet this was the one episode that a lot of people i think at the time when this was airing um everybody was freaking out over and such because i think well manga readers was like oh something big is coming and such and you know because at the time i was still on season one and i wasn't really paying attention to um some of the annie twitters that i follow and such and then anything else about the show because i was like I want to know a little bit as possible. I did see the hype specifically for this episode. And so I was like, well, whenever this episode does come up, when it is time for me to watch it, I will possibly see what the big thing is. I can see why a lot of people were definitely hyped up about this episode. It was a very good episode and such. Just the little subtle moments and everything, but just how emotional Yamada once again truly is. Yes, Kotaro is also very emotional in his feelings, and I love that too. Yes, we love that in men. Um, but this is a little complicated. I am literally like nerve sighted on and scared and everything from A to Z in the bunch of how this is truly going to end for these two. I mean, with only a 24 minute episode, probably 22, even less than that, anything can truly really happen. Yes, I, I do 100% believe we're going, Kotaro is going to confess to her, but also talking about the fact of the situation of the, the one manga that they both like is getting a live action adaptation and that's why she's practicing all those scenes so i'm guessing of course she got the lead but i think because of the fact is it coincides with the school trip she possibly has to end her trip short so that she can go back and start filming it now let's say if we potentially get a third season because we really don't know what in, is in store for this show as of right now, and we'll probably go more in depth than that into the final episode. Um, it does make me wonder when that might air. I mean, they just finished season two. And, I, okay, let's use it, and I kind of believe I'm going to compare this to this, but we know that this show is still damn near good. They just are now still currently airing season three. Um, Lay Back Camp. Lay Back Camp took, like, a big break between their season two and season three, Mainly, that was the movie. I just watched the movie not too long ago. So, I mean, what they could do is, one, they could do an OVA episode like they did for season one. Or two, they could be just like, fuck it, let's just make a movie compilation, a.k.a. Bochy the Rock in a nutshell. Um, and potentially leading that into a third season by having something. Um, not like a big pivotal moment from like the next arcs. More like, let's just say, a quote-unquote sneak peek and credit scene or whatever, um, saying that, you know, hey, we'll be continued in season three. That's my little gist on that. But, no, this is a really sweet episode, but I'm just scared to see how the fuck this one is gonna end. Like, God, I have not been... <sighs> We're just gonna stop there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Alrighty, final episode in three, two, one, go. Welcome to hell.
they're like, well. <laughs> oh, God, poor baby. Oh, because if they find out that he is in that room with them girls. Ooh, it just be like. <laughs> God, that'd be hell. It, it'd be like. <laughs> If I can really say it, it could be last week's episode. It's like, really? Okay. So, of course, it, it's this week for me, but by the time this comes out for you guys next week, um, it'll be last week's episode of Kanasuba <laughs> with Kazuma and Inisu with me. Switched bodies. And he was literally at the highlights of his moment. He's like, oh my God. I got double titty. And I'm about to take a bath with these two. <laughs> and he was just like, yes, I have reached the promised land. Oh, my God. And then he gets switched back into his actual body. And seeing the shit that her Megami did in his body. I mean, you know, there's like the emo type, you know, the confident type, the broading type. The... We can't talk about those types because I get in trouble. <laughs> I mean, if it's like that, then it makes sense why I'm still single and why I'm like, mm. Yeah, you know, some girls want that ish. You know, they got to know the motion of the ocean before they actually get into a relationship with the person. Me, I'm like, I got to wait. I need to see personality first before you, me. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, go, go, go! So we're not going to talk about the almost kiss and then the I want to see you tomorrow. I want to talk to you tomorrow. Hello, babies. One day, Deja, one day we'll go there.
Come on. <laughs> so, you want to talk? Don't be sad. Mm -hmm. No, don't be sorry, honey. And that's okay. That's not being selfish. Hell, I can't even hold it, and I'm already over here crying. But She she took you from this small little introvert to a a social butterfly introvert. Oh my god, why do this now?
does not know. It's okay. It counts. Please get the get the itch off me. to see daddy one more time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Yes. You would think, yeah, it's there, the train station. <laughs> the library. Right? <laughs> Thank you.
怕。That's how we end the show. That is how you end it. And she's asking, yeah, let's go, bitch. So fucking cute. <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of fucking ten. Like fucking anime of the year. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. This was such a damn good series. Thank you for making me cry in the final episode. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. Like ish. the fact is like okay. Him saying it first, like, it, it's something about when a guy say it first, like, I don't know, like, it, something about that just feels good, but see, when the girl says it, and when she's saying it first, it, it's just like, she finally just gets it off her mind, and such, I'm not saying that, like, you know, when a guy doesn't say it, it's not an emotional impact, because yes, duh, it clearly is, whether it's a guy or a girl saying it, ish. but the fact that she was the one who said, not only I love you, Will you go out with me? too much. It was too much. Like, oh my god. It, it's just, think about, like, any other show, or any movie, or, like, TV show, whatever, where, you know, some guys say, like, oh my god, when a girl says I love you first, it's like, it, it kind of freaks the guy out and such, but then at the same time, when a girl says it first... Uh, no, when a guy says it first, that also kind of freaks a girl out, which is kind of true on both ways. You you never really know and such. I mean, okay, so here's the thing. I've, the only, mm, okay, no, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. I'll take that back. I'll take it back. Okay, so yes, I've said I've loved you to my friends and my family. There has only been one guy um, who I have really, we've talked about this, um, said that I 100% was in love with him said I love you to him. He also said it back to me and such. I think that was the only time. I think now, um, even though I am independent bad bitch <laughs> uh, and such, I think the next time when I really do say I love you with someone, like, depending on who that guy is and such, I, I know it will be a different kind of feeling and such of how I felt with the first, my first boyfriend and such, 
to whoever the hell I date, whoever becomes my husband and stuff at the end of the day. And, you know, we grow old together and it's like that. Those I love yous and the way and how you say it are clearly going to mean a completely different thing than a first love. First love's beautiful, sweet, um, young love, everything else in a nutshell, but also just the heartbreak that you have to think about. There's always a good and pros and cons of the first love and stuff, but their love is really timeless. It's very true. I think this show is like officially as of now, one of the top, top romance series and such that I think a lot of people will definitely look to, especially when they first fall in love with someone. Um, I think mainly between this one Mia and maybe like a couple of others up there that I can instantly like, can't really think about as of right now, but definitely would want to probably have their significant others definitely want to check this out. Yes, because it's really cute. And they were like, oh my god, like this is us. Because I did that shit. I did those cringy shits with my ex-boyfriend. Being like, oh my god, this is such us and such. Like, um, oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to do this shit. So, like, now I like to classify myself. Like, if there is one character that I will still classify myself as now... And she's not really my profile picture on my Twitter anymore. It's actually just a picture of moi. Um, <laughs> just like my phone. <laughs> picture of moi. Because <laughs> I love myself that much. Because I'm like, hey, look at me. God take pictures. Ish. Yes. Um, probably as of, because I love her so much. She is my best girl. I don't have a figure of her yet. But one day, the goal is one day, I did see like a couple of figures of her. Um, of course best girl, Maudine, from Dress Up Darling, um, and such, and so, I'm um, over here, I will always go on, like, Twitter, or even Instagram, or even Tumblr, or even Snapchat, depending on my mood and such, be like, yes, the Maudine is looking for a gojo, you know, bad bitch, ish like that, but, like, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, once again, being by myself, yes, I love flirting with a guy and everything, you know, <laughs> um, also, you know, me with my little thirst-ish, because, yes, your girl gets thirsty sometimes. Duh. <laughs> um, I <I'm> to <laughs> water <laughs> and such. But that is okay. We all have our moments. There's nothing wrong with that. But, no. Just, you embrace it. And I think with this series, it is very much a lot of embracing, you know, that, yes, you're falling in love with someone. First, yeah, denying it and stuff. Like, the stages of guilt, because that was really what Kotaro was going through in the first, like, half of season one, or really the first half of the series, and then initially by the end of the first half, he is like, oh, no, like, I am genuinely in love with this girl, and I want to be with this girl, and I want to do everything with this girl. I want to grow old with her, follow all these, like, goals and dreams of everything with her, and just be with her to now at the end of the series she's they're they're together and, and that's so fucking cute it is so sweet when people get to find their freaking person even when anime characters get to find their fucking person and you know it just you go on tiktok and you see people also with their person and then you're like once again you're like mm, damn Seems like a nice good day to walk inside, you know, not outside, outside into a big old tra thing of traffic. You like be like that one episode, and I'm joking about this when I say this, okay? I'm not being fucking serious. You know that one episode of Family Guy when all of Meg's toys were like running away from home from her because I'm guessing they had like some emotional thing with her. I don't really remember because it's one of those like freaking jokes and shit. And so one of the Care Bears was like almost to the street and like I think was Share Bear or something and she was like oh my god Share Bear no and so a car was coming and you know the camera looks at her looks at the car and almost just makes his face it's like I'm sorry Meg and just jumps out that's me that is me right now but no I'm not really gonna do that please don't think I'm gonna do that no dead ass no like I said independent bad bitch right here like ish but no, genuinely, this was a damn good series and such. I really would definitely rewatch this in a heartbeat. Like, 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. It, it's more, I think what I really truly liked about this series is that it was a slow burn. It wasn't, um, like, okay, because with, and I, I can't believe I want to say this, with Horimiya specifically, 
Um, I never really talked about it when it was airing, but I think I talked about it somewhat after or by the time we got into, like, the other second season of the show, which was just, like, things that happened during the first season of it, specifically how I was like, well, we go in episode one, they're not really dating us, but, we you know, we go several episodes later and then they're finally freaking dating. And it felt like their relationship was going extremely fast and I was like, okay, no offense, I, I love this, like, love it a lot. And, like, I was like, but I need something to kind of just take its time where it's like, oh my god, like, slowly but surely, both of them are realizing that they're in love with each other and they want to be with each other. Dress Up Darling is kind of like that. It's a little bit of a mixture of a both, and that's what I really love about Marian and Gojo and how I can relate to both not only Marian but also Gojo as well. And you can just see the relationship blossom between these two and, the you know, the chemistry. And you're like, okay, well, why don't you two just fucking kiss and such. And so... Also, what I love about this is just, once again, it's just them figuring it out at, like, different times, different points, until they are both at the same, like, equal on, this is my forever person. This is the person who I want to be with for the rest of my life. And sometimes you have those weird feelings. You are sometimes arguing with yourself or even, a, you know, a fictional anime character being like, I'm not really sure about this one, but no, I really do genuinely have feelings for her. But what I would, would have possibly wanted to see is also any other time because yes, Kotaro is our main character and such of this same thing with Yamada, but if they really wanted to do something... I would have loved to see, like, every little moment, instead of it being in Kotaro's POV, being in Yamada's POV on how, when she got to her pivotal moment of where she's like, damn, I'm in love with this boy. And I want to be with this boy. He, he makes me laugh. He sees the real me, even though I truly don't see the real me myself and such. And I think that would be so beautiful. That's why I'm over here once again. You want to do a movie? You want to do a movie? Do a fucking movie. Give me something. Please and thank you. Because the next anime movie I'm seeing is Haiku at the end of the fucking month. And then after that, Blue Lock and the month after. So yes! Give me a movie. <laughs> That's all I really want to say about that. But no, this was just a really damn good series. A really damn good series. This is going to be one of those that I think probably about 10 or 15 years later, a lot of people will still um, look back on this show as a really good series. It, I mean, I think between that and like even Komi-san, because like Komi-san was just good as fuck. And I still want that show to get a season three. <laughs> Which is it! That's all. But uh, I mean, yeah. The, you know, the cards, let them, let them fall, let the chips fall. Give me season three of this show and call me. Make me happy. Please and thank you. That's all I fucking need, okay? Okay, yes. And then just give me more cute romance series, because a bitch is a sucker for that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of the dangers in my heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for Patreons and next... Nope. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Next Thursday for everybody else and next Saturday for Patreons for the start of the next series, of course. Um, I did not mean to make this video this long, but you know, because... With this series, I kind of make long as fuck videos. I mean, goddamn. But, yeah. That's all I have to say about that. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.